out of the box and out of the wall, whatever you want to call it, we have. Ooh, that didn't sound good. You were never really here. Joaquin Phoenix. This is one of the movies that I've been wanting to watch forever. And I finally had the random number generator give me this movie. It's Joaquin Phoenix. Give it his all with that hammer. We are about to find out. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Food Tone Reviewing. You were never really here. What's about the pretty simple premise, actually? Joaquin Phoenix is a low totem pole hitman, if you want to put it that way. And you know what? He got a mission to save a girl from a sex ring, you know, trafficking in New York. But what is underneath the surface? Who actually hired him? Why are all these people around him dying? And does Joaquin Phoenix even want to live in this movie? So, I like this film. So this is a very short film. This is only about an hour and 22 minutes without credits. So it zooms by pretty quick. I love the story. I love the directing. However, with this style of source material, I needed more violence. Because if you're having a story about pedophilia and little kids and adults doing shit to little kids, I want carnage. I want fucking hammer to the skull. I want to take the back of the hammer into eye sockets and rip their fucking skull apart. But unfortunately, everything is shown from, you know, security cameras and you get some after effects of with hammers and knives and gunshot wounds. But it just felt a little bit too safe for me with this source material. Except at the very end with Walking Things at a diner. That, that one was a crazy scene. But let's talk about the positives. Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, I understand why he doesn't do a lot of interviews because he just wants to do his job and get out of the way. Uh, so with this one, he knows his source material. He knows exactly what he's going for. So the girl who directed this one was Line Ramsey. I don't know if she directs a lot of stuff because I did a little bit of uh, filmography on IMDb. And I don't think she's directed a lot since this movie, but I think she did a pretty good job with the source material because this is based off a book. And when some of the kills were gruesome, they were gruesome, especially something that happens to Joaquin Phoenix family member, uh, something that happens to a kid that views him when he's walking through a door. So there are some gruesome moments like, oh shit, which that's fine. But when it comes, like I said, this might be a bad negative to talk about this movie, is I just needed more carnage. I needed to see these people suffer. When you have pedophilia, when you have these adults wanting to forcefully put themselves on children i want fucking dicks getting cut off i want testicles being shut thrown down people's throats like i said i want the backup hammers to go through people's eye sockets up people's nose and rip them the fuck off i want teeth coming out of their mouth i want curb stoppage with the hammer in this film and unfortunately you don't get that you get you know some scenes of violence but it just feels like right when something was about to occur we're going to shut off the camera and go to the next scene and edit it out a different way. And you might be like, you're a little bit morbid for saying that. But no, nah, this is where I stop. Sexualizing kids, doing sexual acts in front of kids, doing sexual stuff to kids where it used to be red dot syndrome. Now it's like, oh, we don't want to uh, hurt the other people that are literally crawling on hands and knees to fucking children. But no, we're going to be like, no, 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 that's okay. That's just... That's opening the world view. Get the fuck out of here. Go fucking jump off a cliff and go to hell. So overall, this movie's a great looking film. It's shot extremely well. You get some very disturbing scenes about Joaquin Phoenix's childhood. And that does correlate to what he is dealing with today. About why he does what he does. And why he maybe doesn't want to be on this earth. But realizes he's doing enough good. To stay on the earth. But like I said. Something about this movie just left me wanting more. Unfortunately. And it's it's worth the watch. But I just don't see anyone coming out of this film. And being like. Well I was satisfied. With the, the uh, after action. Of what should have happened. Carnage. I needed carnage. So you were never really here. Will receive. A three and a half out of five of food. It goes at 70%.
So let's see the Critics News scores gave this one. They have critics a 89% with 288 of them. Audience scores 64% with over 5,000. Here's Critic Consensus. Bracingly elevated by a typically commanding lead performance by Joaquin Phoenix. You were never really here. Confirms writer directors Leanne Ramsey as one of the modern cinema's most unique and uncompromised voices. But like I said, unfortunately, I don't think she's directed anything since this movie. Or if she has, it's one of those low budget ones. But anyway... 64, 89, 70. Chase Hawk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you think it's Blue Topia. You Blue Futon, take a watch. Have a great day. I don't care if you watch this today, tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. I love every single one of you. Am I morbid? I don't think so. Fuck pedos. Fuck them. Seriously. Special place in hell for you.